Now, we're going to turn the cameras off for a little while so everyone can relax. Cameras are not on. You saw Tony playing. Obviously, we all love this playing, I'm sure. So we're in luck. We get to put Tony back to work. And Tony, I don't know whether we want to confer with Mr. Tuner now that our guitars are actually warmed up. You're all right? Okay, because I, I went a little flat there. Okay, well, I checked and we're happening. So, as soon as Mary's ready and she's ready, let's get uh, Tony. What? Let's do two more tunes. Have you got a couple more? Tony, that there's still an audio problem. 
Well, uh, we've been asked to just talk a little bit more while uh, we figure out what's the problem. Here comes Mr. Scott with his trusty flashlight. They're going to break up better for you. They're going to give you the kind of impact that you're trying to put on a note with a tube amp. It's warmer. The more they warm up, the tubes warm up, the better the amp sounds to me. And what happens with the transistor amps is at one point, I think, um, I'm not too sure, but I mean, they have this sort of, um, it's almost like phony overdrive when you turn it up. You know what I'm trying to say? It's yeah. like, it just doesn't cold cut. sound. It's, it's a pretty cold. cold clinical sound, and the tubes totally react. Now, Tone, the questions have been coming fast and furious, and for that, we thank you. We're very proud of you for asking such good questions for the most part. I think that we've got...